Hey, I'm Caleb from You Can Make This Too. It's been a few years, so I thought I'd do a gift guide again. Thank you for joining me. A um, few things up front. There will be links to everything down below, so if you want to know where to find it, check out the description. And I should have discount codes for a lot of this stuff as well, so make sure you check those if you do want to buy it, save you a little bit of scratch. Anyway, woodworkers can be tough to buy for, because a lot of times when you think woodworking, you think, oh, I need to get a, go get them tools. But that dude's so freaking picky about his tools. Like, and I don't know what he has or doesn't have or what he needs or what he's not gonna use. So what I've tried to do when I do my gift guides is stay away from the tools a little bit. So if you know your woodworker and there's a certain thing he's got his eye on, go for it, he's gonna love it. Uh, but if you're not sure, I've got some ideas for some not tool stuff that pretty much anyone will be happy to have in their shop. So let's get started. So first thing, sort of a tool, we've got some sandpaper. If you have a woodworker, you've probably heard nothing, uh, nothing super great about sanding. This sandpaper is the bomb and speeds up the process so much. And one of the things you'll like if you love your woodworker is if they have any type of dust collection, this Abernet by Merca is, is very different in the sense that it's not a solid paper, it's a net style. So the dust collection on whatever sander you're using works so much better and collects a lot better because it can pull the dust through the paper instead of having to get pushed out to the edges and then get pulled off where a lot of it gets blown away. So this stuff is awesome. You can get them if, and, <clears throat> but you probably don't want to spend, you probably don't want to spend hundreds of dollars getting like all the grits. One of the nice things is that these come in assortment packs. So you can get one or two, three boxes of assorted pack. And then if they haven't tried it yet, they can try it out. And if they like it, like this stuff is a game changer for your sanding game. A great place to get the Abernet is from a company called Two Sand. And they actually have a special right now where if you order two, they will send you a Merc shirt with the sweet little bulldog on it. So then he won't ruin his other clothes when he's out in the shop sanding and he can wear this. Speaking of breathing dust and everything. So I used to be a big RZ mask fan. These work well. And one of the things I really like about the RZ mask is it's so quick and easy to put on. Like it's just a Velcro strap. And PPE can be a, a personal protective equipment, can be a little bit of a pain. So the easier it is to use, the less of a burden, the more likely it will get used. Because it doesn't matter if you spend a bunch of money and have like the most sophisticated system as a pain in the butt to put on and off, you're just not gonna use it. And then you're gonna cheat. Um, a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with the RZ masks. They work great for some people, not so great for others. The filtration is great, but the problem is it doesn't create a good seal, and you can still breathe a fair bit of dust. Uh, I wore them for years, though. These can be nice, but say someone has one and they don't like it, or this is your right price point, they're worth checking out. Um, but recently I've switched to the Stealth mask, which is really comfortable, and the reason I bring up the RZ when talking about the Stealth is what they did is make a mask that seals a whole lot better around your whole face, but it's just as quick to put, put on because you have one strap and then these really big, easy clasps that hook together, and then they're molded to, to sink together really nice, whereas a lot of the other ones are so finicky, like I've got some really nice respirators, but it's such a pain in the butt to get it on, I just don't, I don't wear them, but I will snap this on. And boom, you're done. So I will actually take this on and off even for just a few cuts if I need to. So yeah, if you want to uh, tell your woodworker you love them in a special way, like please don't die or I don't want you to develop COPD or develop an aller allergic reaction to your wood shop, which happens to about 10% of woodworkers who don't protect themselves from fine dusk, and then they have to give up the hobby or spend thousands of dollars investing in equipment to minimize their exposure so they can be in a wood shop again. Just, you know, spend a few bucks on a nice mask for them that's easy to put on so they will wear it. Okay. Another nifty gift to pretty much any, and, and this is great just for, just to have if your guy's handy, even if you're not necessarily a, a woodworker or if you like doing crafts and stuff, whoever your woodworker is. Um, Starbond CA glue, CA glue, cyanoacrylate glue, um, super glue. It was the big brand that first started. Now it's CA glue is kind of the generic. Starbond is a brand I like. It comes with an accelerator. It's a big thing that makes this stuff different and special. I like Starbond because it comes in a whole lot of thicknesses. So they have clear and you get it from thin, which is super watery to like heavy, which, or thick, which is really thick. So it's great for filling gaps. I mostly use medium. 
The other thing I like about Starbond in particular is they also make a brown and a black. So I use this for all kinds of little repairs and filling holes and knots because I do a lot of work with walnut so I can use a brown and it's a fairly close match or I can use black and, as, and it's an accent and of course the black accents nicely in almost any wood if you're doing some filling. Of course the clear is not seen. And the awesome thing is you put a little bit of glue on one side, you hit the other side with some activator, you stick them together, and in like 10 seconds, it's fully cured, it's bonded, it's strong, you're ready to move on. So whenever I'm making jigs or doing anything quick, like this is super fast, I just did some carving, and you know, sometimes uh, the tool gets carried away and might cut something I didn't want to cut off. Um, you know, little dab, little spritz, stick it on, count to five, and I'm back in business, ready to keep going. I just can't say enough about it. And one of the reasons I like Starbond over some of the other CA brands is theirs is actually formulated to dry a little bit slower than other brands you can get. You might think, well, uh, why would I want it to be any slower? I want it to be fast, fast, fast. Well, the problem is if it's too fast, what happens, and I've had this happen with other brands, is you put those two things together that you want to repair and they bond and you're like, Oh, but, but I needed to slide that like an eighth of an inch. Like it, it, it wasn't quite right. I needed, I needed a little bit of time to like hold it where I needed it, but it cured instantly, instant, instant. Um, this doesn't do that. So it gives you those few seconds you need to get whatever you need in place, hold it for a second, make sure it is where you want, and then it cures. And honestly, I'd rather hold something just a few more seconds and make sure it is where I need it than, uh, you know, get stuck in that place of, well, now I have to repair my repair because it glued itself too fast. Anyway, uh, pretty sure I do have a discount for this. So see the description for a link and the code save you like 10% or something on this, I believe. Anyway, this is handy stuff. Now hear me out on this one. It's gonna sound a little silly. These pencils are the absolute bomb. Uh, you're probably used to like the regular big old fat yellow. Let me grab one. The, these dudes, which have their place because flat things don't roll off unflat surfaces because it's not round, so it doesn't roll. So these will, you know, won't fall off your rafter when you're in a roof, then you lose your pencil. So these are handy. But if you're in a wood shop doing fine finesse work, you want to be able to make really nice fine lines, not big fat lines that are, you know, a quarter inch over from what you're actually trying to mark on because the lead's in the middle. And these graphing pencils, something turned me on to them. And like for doing layout work, it's, it's the bomb, I love it. I know technically a marking knife is like the premier, so if you want to invest in a nice marking knife for your woodworker, they'd probably appreciate it, but I've stuck with pencils instead of moving to marking knives because a good one, a good marking knife is kind of pricey, uh, uh, and I have some less expensive ones, but I only have one, and then I lose it all the time, whereas after I tried one of these, I order like six more of them, so now when I set it down and don't remember it's there, I just go grab another one, grab another one. Then every few months I collect them all up, put them back away, because uh, that's the way I run my shop. But yeah, the, these, total game changer, you'd be surprised. Talking about fine lines and finesse, I know I was gonna stay away from tools, um, but <clears throat> depending on, I mean, just go look in your woodworker shop. You'll see if they have saws hanging up or not. If they don't, a few saws are really, really handy to have. If you wanna get them <clears throat> one that's super handy and pretty inexpensive, this is a flush cut saw. What makes it unique is the teeth are not wider than the blade. Most saws, the teeth are wider than the blade to make a slightly wider cut called kerf, so that way the blade doesn't get stuck in there, doesn't get pinched but this is deliberately made without that, so you can hold it flat and then it won't scratch the work surface and you can flush cut things. This I wanna say is about $20. And then I also have a cross cut and a ripping saw. So with these three, you're pretty much set to do any hand cut joinery. So if your woodworker has said anything about wanting to do hand work or is interested, or even if they're not that interested, you I wanna say all three of these cost me like, 60, 70, 80 bucks, less than 100, less than 100 for all three of them. And this is like a complete hand tool set now that I have. And <clears throat> whenever you're doing one of thing, a machine is a lot faster when you're repeating because once you spend all the time in the setup, you can keep making that same cut really quickly. But if you only have one to do, a lot of times a handsaw is actually faster because you don't have all the setup time you have at a machine. So they're really handy to have. And uh, it's really easy to glance out and say, hey, you don't really have any hand tools. I think they might like some hand saws. <clears throat> and the other nice thing I like about these uh, Suzanne saws that you can get on Amazon. 
That one, <clears throat> that one was on me. The other nice thing about these Suzanne saws you can get on Amazon, don't know if I said that right, is you have the initial investment, which really isn't that much for a good saw, but then once they go dull, you can buy just new replacement blades and not the whole thing. So then, you know, keep your saws fresh is uh, less expensive because you just buy new blades. Um, this and the next thing I'm gonna talk about have been my shop companion dedicated for like a year and a half. These are my Raycons. These are the work Raycons, which is a fairly new model they have. I really like the work ones because they have noise canceling and an ambience mode. These are also a lot less expensive than most earbuds. So yeah, so it's a Bluetooth earbud set. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I have like five pairs of these. They're just my dedicated. A few things I like is the case charges your earbuds. So whenever you take them out, they automatically turn on and they automatically pair. I can hear them right now. They just said, hey, Raycon, power on, connected. Boop, my phone's over there. They just instantly connect. You put them in. They have this nice little magnetic and they suck in, they turn themselves off and they start charging. I close it and now it's charging, it has a little LED indicator, tells me how it's doing. When I put them in and I'm in the shop and I'm running loud machinery, I just hold my right earbud for two seconds and it goes to noise canceling mode. Now I have passive ear protection because they're in my ear canal blocking the sound waves from in entering my ear holes. Well now I'm also using the computer wizardry after I turn on active noise canceling where it reads the waves coming on and then flips them 180 degrees and sends the other waves to cancel those out or some audio engineer stuff like that that provides further protection for my ears without having like a bulky pair that's always messing with my safety glasses because as you see I wear a prescription I have prescription safety glasses I wear over the ear stuff my safety glasses like open those muffs so they don't really seal that great and then every time I put them on and off they're screwing with my glasses and if I'm wearing a mask too they're in the way I like the earbuds because they don't have that problem. And the other cool thing is they're just good earbuds. Like I wear these whenever I travel, I wear them when I'm cooking, wear them when I'm cleaning, wear them when I'm mowing, my mowing the yard or riding my tractor doing work. Because uh, once I turn on the noise canceling, like the tractor noise just disappears and I can listen to my audio book or music and go on about my way. There's a few different versions. I really like the work for the extra features. Oh, and the ambience mode is another nice thing. Let's say um, I've got a lot of noise going, I'm running machines, like, okay, that's over, but now I wanna be able to hear what's going on. I can hold that right earbud again for two more seconds, noise canceling ends and it goes to ambience mode where the microphones in it work to gather the sound around and put some of the sound through. So like when I was out there spreading a whole bunch of rock in front of my barn the other day, and my boys were playing, and uh, they didn't really need me or need my attention, so I wanted to listen to my audiobook while I'm out there raking rock, I'm out there raking rock, but I put it on ambience mode, and then when they go, hey daddy, they don't have to yell through, you know, having something stuck in my ear hole and what I'm listening to. It hears that sound, and then I just hear, hey daddy, come through along with my audiobook, I can pause it, go take care of the boys or whatever I need to do, so you can kind of stay aware, which is nice that I can be in the shop and have something in my ear, it keeps me entertained, and then when I run something loud, I go to noise canceling, my ears are fully protected, and then when I'm done with that, I can turn to ambience and make sure if someone hollers for me or if I need to be aware of what's going on or if I've got my laser running, which isn't loud, I don't need a protection from, but I want to hear it to hear if something goes wrong with it, I still have that awareness. So these really nice, really nice ear protection and a lot less expensive actually than uh, a lot of other premium brands, but they, they sound great. The other thing that's been a constant companion, my true work gear. We're in them right now. Like since I got my first pair of pants, which these might be them, um, you can tell because they're, they're pretty nasty. This stuff's great. And this is take two because I just did a clip that was like seven minutes long about these. Uh, so I'm gonna try to be really brief now. Basically these are, are game changers and there's a few ways to get into them really inexpensively right now. They have a bundle set offer. So you can save about 30% total by buying one of their bundles, which will normally have like a pair of pants and a shirt and a shell, maybe underwear, maybe their socks. Or you can get the gift cards, and right now the m more expensive of a gift card you buy, you get another free gift card. So I think it's like, uh, buy a $100 gift card, you get a $25 gift card free. And 
I also have a code. You can use Caleb15 to get a discount. I am an ambassador for them, so I have a discount. I'm an ambassador because I used to blow through like a pair of pants every month and a half or so, and I spent about $400, bought a bunch of pairs of work pants to try them all, find some that fit, um, still destroyed a bunch of them, wasn't really happy, except for the True Works. So the only ones that I was like, I fell in love with these, and then I spent about $1,000, and I have eight pairs of these pants in my closet that I bought with my money. I bought some for my wife. I bought some for the guy behind the camera. Um, he's got a few pair of them. I bought him a gift card so he could buy more stuff, and they have even more offerings. Like this T5 work hoodie is my lawn mowing go-to. Like I take this out of the boat and go sailing. I mow the lawn in it because <clears throat> it's fantastic because it's UV resistant, moisture wicking, all that stuff. Don't have to worry about sunscreen. The other thing I like about the whole setup is all their clothing works as a system. So you have base layers that are either lightweight base layers, ba base layers for summer or for winter that are a little thicker. And then insulating layers like their hoodies and jackets and, and vests, well not jackets, and then the shell layers that go over it. And everything size that you can build it up. And then if you work outside a lot, like this is what I wear whenever I'm outside and what I wear in the shop all the time too. It lasts so much longer, it moves better, it breathes. The only thing I found that comes close to destroying this is weld BBs when I'm welding and those molten hot little pieces of metal, they will melt through and then burn you. So unless you're in a volcano working with lava, you're probably not gonna be able to destroy these pants. They are resistant to, hold on. Right. Check this out. I'm gonna be safe and take the blade out. Like. It didn't cut through. I have a little bit of abrasion there now, but it, it's fine. Like it, it's stupid how tough these pants are. And you can tell all the stains that I have on these things. And this is all from um, actual like wood varnish, wood stain. They're water resistant. So normally everything flakes off. But the amazing thing is no matter what I've put on this that's dried, it's not all crusty and rigid like pants normally get. Like they're still totally flexible. Yeah, down here you can see a little weld BB where I burned, burned through these. I've had this pair of pants for over a year and I'm still wearing them. That's like unheard of for me. Normally two months tops and you know, I, I wouldn't give away my shop pants. So another thing, if you like to spend money on active wear and clothing and your woodworker might be frustrated by it, start spending some money on nice active wear for them. They might be a little more uh, okay with what you want to spend as a little hint. So yeah, true work. Check it out. Last but not least, because it's popular and because they're like my longest running sponsor and I love working with these people, gotta talk about some Total Boat. So if you got a woodworker who's been interested in doing some epoxy, the cool thing about Total Boat, um, they have all the different kinds of products, but you don't have to worry about go finding the right product. Let's say he's been wanting to do a river table or a charcuterie board or work with coasters. They have kits available and I'll link a couple of them below with my discount code. So you can go get him a river table kit or a coaster kit that have like the silicone molds and epoxy and pigment and stir sticks and everything he needs from the epoxy and mold side to do kits. So yeah, if he's expressed interest in those, which are so fun and just look cool and also make great gifts, I'll have links for those below if that's something your woodworkers expressed interest in. Last thing, I don't know where you live, so I can't tell you where to go, but if there's a local woodworking shop in your area, get them some gift cards from your local Rockler or Woodcraft, or we, we have a locally owned place that's an affiliate with one of those companies. Um, or if there's a lumber provider or sawmill, somewhere he likes to go get material from that you know of, give them a call. Maybe they don't have it uh, like gift cards you just order online, but they might have some type of gift certificate. That's always another handy thing to help along this project. If you want to get more creative and don't have as much of a budget, you know, think of like the old um, kid coupon system. Give them a, a, a woodworking weekend guilt-free coupon. Be like, hey, you just, you know, you let me know so I can take care of the kids or whatever I need to do uh, in advance and, and you go take a weekend and spend it out in the shop do it, doing what you love and I'll handle everything else. There's always creative options for whatever your budget is. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. If you were interested in anything, there should be links below as well as anything that I have a discount code for. The discount code will be below. Hope you learned something, were inspired, or at least entertained. And until next time, make time to make something.